Vice President Kamala Harris will return to West Michigan today for the fourth time this year. Political reporter Rick Alvin is in Portage now with more on Harris's visit. Rick? We know when the Vice President arrives later this afternoon, we expect her to talk about reproductive health rights for women, and she'll have what's called a moderated discussion. She'll be right there on that stage. But what the real message is, is on that sign behind me where it says Michigan for Biden Harris. Right now, according to the website 270 to win, 270 being the number of electoral votes it takes to win, Republicans are ahead of Democrats in projected states with only five states as toss-ups. That includes Pennsylvania, where President, uh, former President uh, Trump was just last week. Obviously in Wisconsin, where we also saw President Biden recently. In Nevada and in Arizona, and of course, in Michigan. That's why the vice president is going to be here today, why President Biden was here last week, while President Trump, uh, former President Trump and his vice presidential nominee, uh, J.D. Vance, are going to be in Grand Rapids this weekend. Michigan really becomes ground zero uh, as the case is made to try to get to that magic number of 270. And as the months click by and as some of these other states continue to solidify either red or blue, then the question is just how many states are left for grabs, and we know it's very few right now. What we'll be listening for is not so much this conversation, very much like the one she had in Grand Rapids not so long ago, but we're going to be listening for those first 10 minutes where she's supposed to be doing some time of a campaign event. We believe it'll be right here at that other podium, and she'll be talking for the first time since the assassination attempt on former President Trump, and since both campaigns have indicated that that they want to moderate in their conversation, that they want to turn the temperatures down a little bit on their rhetoric. We'll find out if they follow through on that here today and then again Saturday in Grand Rapids. But over the next few days, Michigan is going to be the epicenter of political activity when it comes to the presidential race. And that may continue between now and November. For now, live in Portage, Rick Alvin, News 8. Okay, Rick, thank you. We will continue to bring you updates on the vice president's visit online and on air.